Hi you guys doing this is Tino with LAPC Networking and today um, I want to do something different so I want to install this Apple TV in my car or truck and I want to show you a video how to uh, convert this Apple TV to uh, 12 volts that is actually the voltage of the car without um, using the original power cable because obviously if you want to use the original power cable you need to have 110 on the car so I'm gonna connect this because one of the uh, things that I need in case if you have an older radio you need to uh, to have an adapter to connect it to any of the video outputs so that you can convert the HDMI to um, just regular video and so you can get the audio left and right so that's why I have this old adapter that it was just sitting there and I'm gonna use it with this to have it on my car all right so I'm gonna show you how to do this and to do this you're gonna flip it and you're gonna get um, like a little spatula even you can get something like this just to to apply it and try to open it and uh, and some torx screws uh, they has to be removed and I'm gonna show you right now how to do that all right okay so the first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna Try to insert this on the one of the edges all the way around to take it off. And um, I'm going to start doing this from the edge. You're going to have to, you're going to hear like a little click. And then once you have it inserted, you're going to lift it. And, and then once they open it, don't pull it all away because even if you open it here, I'm gonna show you. Even if you open it here, it has this little teeth, but it has it all the way around. So once you do that, you're gonna apply it on the other side. You hear that? You hear the other one? Just be patient. And then now on the other side, one more. And here we go. So, um, just to show you, has all this all the way around, this teeth, and this teeth, and this two. So we're gonna get the torque, and we're gonna remove, you're gonna get your torques and remove these uh, five screws. And if you see, the connectors are here, so it's facing this way. We'll remove the five screws, remove it. one, Two, three, four, five. So once we remove all those five, you're gonna lift this part really easy. Always really careful. Kind of like a slice back and then goes up. This is just a metal piece. There is uh, that it has the paste for the little components over here. So I'm gonna put that on the side. And now we're gonna remove two screws. This black one and this um, silver one. These two screws are holding the motherboard. So once that we remove the two screws, we're gonna get a little. A spatula to see how to lift it from the back if you see the connectors are here on the front we take the motherboard out and I put it over here we're gonna remove one two three four torques that they are all the way on the bottom I'm gonna flip it down so that all four screws move it to the side. Now here, after the four screws are removed, we're gonna remove these two little screws over here. 
that they are holding the connector in place. So I'll put it down also to remove those easier. Now that you lift and separate this thing, you see this little connector over here? You're gonna get like little tweezers or something just to separate it. This is rubber. It's a rubberized connector. I want to remove this just to be able to slide this part. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get something flat to try to take this out. But if you just pull it like that, this is gonna be on your way. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna push this down until it came off like this. And we're gonna put it on the side. And then we're gonna lift this and separate it just to make sure that it's separated. And you're gonna put it all the way facing down and you're gonna jiggle it until this piece is gonna come off completely. Okay. Once this piece is completely out, you're gonna flip it this way. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a uh, um, power and ground for this from these components over here. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get our Phillips, I mean uh, our Torx, and we're gonna t unscrew this a little bit or a lot, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna take one apart. Okay, so once you remove the screws, you can lift this part right here to disconnect your DC power. Once it is disconnected, you can put it down through here. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna get to, to your two cables through this hole and you're gonna put it just on the side right here. If you wanna be a little clean, you can put the ground on in one side. Okay, so we're gonna get our, um, let me control my thing. So I'm gonna get my constant. I'm gonna do like a little hook, like the way that you see over here, you see the hook? And I'm gonna connect it. And then I'm gonna make another hook, hook and do it for the ground. And I'm gonna get my other torques. And just to remember you guys, um, it's a couple videos on YouTube about doing different iPads, and, I'm sorry, different Apple TVs and all that, but they are for older generations. Uh, I think it's a lot easier on this newer um, Apple TV 4 than the other ones for the user. Okay, once that you attach your cables, the easiest way to work is uh, you're just gonna get a hot glue gun, like this one, and we're gonna at attach just some glue, just to hold the screws properly, I mean, so to hold the cables properly, just to not move. So, now, if you wanna keep this, you're gonna have to make a hole on the edge over here to be able to run these two cables. So in this case, I wanna keep it. So I'm gonna get my drill bit and I'm gonna make a hole. I'll show you how I'm doing the hole right now. So once you do your hole over here, you're gonna transfer your cables through the hole. So in this case, I'm gonna put it through here. One. And then the other one. So 
so that, that you're gonna have an access and you're gonna transfer in this connector through here again so so if you see got my cables down let me reorganize the cables Got my cables done. I want to reconnect my cable over here. I use my tweezers just to help me. So this is reconnected all the way, nice and solid here. And I'm gonna reput my cable power and ground over here. Perfect. So now we have this. Let me put a little bit of hot glue in this one and a little bit of hot glue in this one too, just to hold the cable. And now we're going to insert this back into the place in here again. So remember, it was facing down with the cables this way. I'm going to put it facing down again. Okay, now we got it all away, and now we're gonna put the four screws over here first. This one is one, the second one, We have the whole screws now we're gonna put the two screws from here that they're holding the 110 power connector so we put one and then we have the other one now we're gonna get our uh, tweezers and uh, we're gonna put this this little plastic remember that this one it was facing up So here you go, that's for the LED of the Apple TV. So remember the plastic is facing up, the little hook facing up. So once that we have that, um, now we're gonna put the cables to the side right here. We're gonna make a small little hole in here. So I'm gonna get my drill bit to make a small little hole. So we make our small little hole and we're gonna transfer one cable and the other through the hole. So now I have this one, the ground, and now I'm gonna run the power. So I have my little two cables and they're under here to the side so like that it doesn't affect. Now I'm gonna put the motherboard And now I'm gonna attach my, um, oh, actually before I put the motherboard, um, it was this little plastic that it was holding the LED, you guys remember? This little plastic is holding the LED. So I'm gonna put a square right here. And we got it, perfect. I almost forgot that piece. Okay, so we put the motherboard back. Now we can attach uh, the other two screws. There was one black one over here. And the other silver on the other side. Once we have that aligned, we're gonna put the other piece of the motherboard. And it goes here. Then we're gonna put our five screws. One, two, three, four, and five screws in place. 
we attach it. Sorry for the movement. Okay, so we have or five screws. We have we preserve the actual connector over here, the 110. And um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little a little hot glue over here. Okay, so now we have that and we're gonna close the bottom piece so if you see right here it has the three little teeth that is gonna be holding the front right here the apple it has to be facing to this way and the cables are on the back of the apple though, okay so we're gonna put we're gonna start first with the with the back we press it and then touch the front and just click all together this is some tape that I just put to hold it before. But now we have our Apple TV with uh, um, the cables for 110. So I'm gonna just connect this into my car, test it and see how it works. And I show you guys, and I hope you guys like this video. Please comment and subscribe. So I'll show you when it's connected. See ya.